Hello, MyTel administrators. Today we're going to have a quick little lesson on how to edit your MyTel Newpoint voicemail to schedule holidays and maybe change your business hours that your daytime and or nighttime scripts play. So, if you haven't already seen and watched, there is a sister video entitled Recording Your Main Greetings in the MyTel Newpoint Voicemail. And you may want to watch that video because it actually talks about call director boxes. It talks about how your main greetings are all held within the same call director box, but just recorded underneath separate menu IDs. So as an example, you may have a holiday script that is recorded in menu ID 002. And generally a holiday script is recorded as such as we are closed for the current holiday and then give any options that uh, may be available to the callers. But it's nice to generalize that we are closed for the current holiday. That way for each holiday you don't have to go in and re-record that particular holiday menu ID for the specific holiday. So let's get started. And if you've watched the sister video already, this page should look a little bit familiar to you. We're already logged into the MyCollab server with uh, uh, credentials given to you by your MyTel technician. But in order to make those changes, we are going to need to come into the Newpoint web console to get into the, the voicemail blade of this particular server. So find and highlight and click the Newpoint web console. Now, since we are going to be playing with a call director box today, we're going to need to scroll down towards the bottom and we're going to look for call director. So we've got it right here and we're going to come down one, two bullet points till we see call flow. So we're going to click the call flow and we need to look for that particular call director box. Don't let this term mailbox fool you because we are looking for a call director box. And in this case, there is a test call director box of 5080. So we'll search for 5080. There we go, it's pulling up now. Now, let's break this down for a little bit. When a phone call comes into the Newpoint uh, auto attendant, the very first thing it does is it comes down to see if there's a current holiday schedule built. And if there is, then it will play the holiday uh, greeting that's recorded within the the uh, call director box underneath the specific menu ID. Now, remember, as I mentioned, this is a real basic call director box. I don't see that any options have been programmed. You know, the digits one to route the callers to here, the digit two to route them someplace else. So I'm not seeing any routing built in this mailbox. And since it is a very basic call director box, um, the, it's, I also see it's missing its menu ID number right here. So remember, all your main greetings are all recorded in the same call director box under subcategories menu IDs. So we can see that our closed greeting here um, does not, it's missing its menu, uh, menu ID number. So no worries because this video is just how to make some schedule changes. So let's do this. What we want to do is we want to add or edit any holidays. So let's click and highlight the holiday schedule and over on the right hand side we're going to just scroll down to the bottom of the page until we come down to holiday and weekly schedule. Now notice holiday schedule is green because I selected it up above and the reason it's green because that tells me that there's already some scheduling in there. So let's click it to go in and take a look what's there. Okay, now um, you can see the holidays that um, somebody's already built in here and there's a little slide bar down there at the bottom because there's more information on this page. 
So we can see that we have a delete function, we have a reoccurring holiday function. As an example, let's see what somebody's done here. They've got New Year's Day. We know that New Year's Day always falls on the, the first of the uh, first of January. So that is going to be a reoccurring holiday every year. Um, all the way down through MLK 2017. So let's show you how to add or edit a, a holiday uh, schedule. So let's just delete that current MLK day. And we're going to come down here to apply that down at the bottom left and select OK. Then we're going to close this page because back at the home page, at the very bottom left, there is a save tab. Don't forget to select your save tab and our changes have just been saved. So let's go back into that holiday schedule, make sure the MLK day is gone and then re-add it. So we can see MLK day is gone. So let's open this box a little bit, expand it somewhat and let's add it back in. So we have to give it a name. So right here, we're just going to call it MLK. 2017 and we need to find the particular date that we want that holiday script to play in 2017 and MLK in 2017 falls on the 16th. Now we want that holiday greeting that says our office is closed for the current holiday to start playing at 8.30 in the morning because that's our normal business hours on a Monday. So we can select 8.30 or you could have chosen to have that play at midnight uh, or 12.01 a.m. Your choice on that. But in this case, we're just going to have it start playing at 8.30 in the morning. Now, we want it to continue to play. We could either put it, have it play all night long by select, selecting uh, the 17th of January, which happens to be a Tuesday. But in this case, I'm just going to pick the 16th, which is the same day. And our office normally closes on a Monday at 5.30 p.m. So we'll add those hours in, make sure we've selected p.m. here. And We'll give a quick little review. It's going to start on the 16th at 8.30 a.m. And it's going to continue until 5.29 p.m., 5.30 p.m. on the same day. So we'll add that holiday. Very bottom left, there's an apply. Don't forget to select OK here. Close this page and do your final save at the bottom of the page. So we've saved. So we'll come back in to review, make sure it's still there. There it is, MLK day, 8.30 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. So let's close this and now let's talk about editing your business hours, maybe your open and closed greeting. So let's scroll back up to the top of the page and now we have a day and a night schedule so we need to highlight that. Slide back down to the bottom of the page and weekly schedule is now highlighted in green and it's green because we know that there's already a current schedule in there. So right here, we'll click it and um, double check Monday, 8.30 to 5.30. Yep, that's our normal business hours. So let's say our normal business hours on Wednesday have changed. Um, so we're just going to delete this particular date, Wednesday. And at the very bottom, there is a uh, apply. Select OK. Don't forget to close here. Very bottom left of the home page to do your final save. OK, perfect. So let's re-add that Wednesday back in here. So we're going to pick a Wednesday. Our business hours started at 8.30 in the morning. That is a.m. And we close at 5.30 p.m. We'll add that. Close this page. And 
Oh, did you notice my mistake? I did not select apply. So let's go back to our weekly schedule. And we're going to do that again Wednesday, 8.30 a.m. Probably a good thing I did that, huh? And you get to see it twice. We close at 5.30 p.m. We'll add it. Scroll down the bottom of this screen. We'll apply it. Now we can close this page. Back to our home page, bottom left, do our final save. Saves the changes have been saved. We'll come in to double check ourselves. There's our Wednesday business hours, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. So that's how you will schedule your holidays and change your hours that your auto attendant will play. So thank you for watching today and please enjoy using your Mitel phone system. Thank you.